And finally, one is the fastest man on earth. The other has been described as a dashing prince. Strictly speaking, when Harry met Usain on a running track in Jamaica, there should have been no contest. But then Harry bolted for the line. Our royal correspondent Tim Yurt was trackside. It was the day Prince Harry left the world's fastest human in his wake. Fair means or foul, the royal family's very own chariots of fire moment. Oh. <laughs> you cheated. You cheated, but I understand when you're slow. I didn't trick you. Got it. That's all right. You didn't trick you, did you? I'll get him back, though. I'll get him back one day. Say it. Go. This was Harry at his most relaxed, hamming it up for the cameras, turning on the charm in a country that's planning to remove the Queen as its head of state. Events like this aren't going to sway public opinion here in Jamaica when it comes to deciding about whether the country should be a republic. But what Prince Harry has done is win a lot of friends for the British royal family. And he had a message for Jamaicans. Your country needs you. You know, this is a, it's a very small country and, you know, and it doesn't matter how big you are, it just shows, you know, if you've got talent, then, then use it and, uh, and you know, don't go running off to America because you've got a clear talent that turns what your country needs. Dignitaries are a little bit different, but to meet him and he's so cool, he's way relaxed and he was saying the words are playful, he's saying what I know, so I kind of loosened up and really just had fun with him and it was, it was wonderful for me. They gave him a Harry Can Bolt t-shirt. He gave them a reminder that being British and royal doesn't necessarily mean standing on ceremony. Tim Ewart, ITV News, Kingston, Jamaica. And that is tonight, ITV News at 10. The National Weather is next and the news.